Hello, Jess T. Good here, and LEGO is a very safe company, following their own values and keeping the content in their sets PG at worst. Well, most of the time. Like, they'll cover PG-13 movies, but it's hard to find a LEGO toy nowadays that parents would call inappropriate. You know me, though. LEGO breaking their own rules fascinates me. And using the LEGO Ideas guidelines, we have a pretty solid layout on what LEGO would put out as a toy. And already, there's so many contradictions coming to mind. I'll avoid my violent set choices in this list, but let's see 20 instances where LEGO released content that you might call inappropriate. This is in no way a critique, but I'm making some observations for the fun of it. Surprisingly, LEGO has released quite a few smoking supplies throughout the years, to the point where there's a BrickLink subcategory of it in gear. Yikes. There's not too much info on these for obvious reasons. Heck, LEGO has listed them all for deletion after buying BrickLink, with the reason listed as blocking the sale of these products. I mean, I get using BrickLink to sell smoking supplies is strange, but only collectors would buy this. They should allow this to stay up. Though the more I think of it, LEGO blocked the sale of these because I think these are hazardous materials. You can't exactly sell lighters online. This is probably why the ashtray isn't blocked from sale specifically, since that has no hazardous materials with it, only the lighters. Speaking of which, I do kind of love that ashtray. Beats the bootleg Rick and Morty and Pikachu ones you see all over smoke shops. There's a couple of really nice Zippo branded lighters from 2000. A dope leather Rwanda lighter that must have been from the 50s. Hell, this looks bootleg, but if the only official reason for deletion is listed to prevent the sale and it's not listed as counterfeit, this must be a legit item. And LEGO has released their own wine before, back in 1997 as an employee gift. This text says, we wish you a great 1997 in Dutch. Hey, my birth year. The crate included a red and white wine bottle. There's also a really slick looking official LEGO bottle opener released at one point. What about the wooden toy gun LEGO put out in the 1950s? Now many of you watching this right now will be like, what? LEGO made a toy of a real gun like that? And then another large portion of you guys watching will be like, what the heck? What's so bad about this toy? I used to have toys like this all the time. Where do you land? And what about that role of no religious symbols, buildings, or people? In 57 and 1958, there were two instances of LEGO church sets, basically the same sets for different parts of the world. This is the LEGO set from 1977. Oh my god. Okay, in popular culture, the depiction of Native Americans, American Indians, and Indigenous Americans as having red skin is extremely offensive nowadays, but was very common until recently with the famous song from Peter Pan or the Washington Redskins just changing their names. If you're curious what type of figures those are, they're from Homemakers, which was this creepy LEGO figure designed predating minifigures. Yet they'd also use minifigures in the final sets of the line as babies, funny enough. And Homemaker figures are all yellow except for the figures of this set. Yikes. This may have been more fitting for a violent sets list, but I keep thinking about how the LEGO Lone Ranger Constitution train chase set has the inclusion of the minigun that the main villain uses to commit genocide on the natives in the movie. Like, it's a really dark scene in the movie, but they include the minigun on the build. Thankfully, there's no natives to mow down in the set. That would be a bit too much. Look, LEGO cancelled the release of a LEGO City set this year, which had a police raid on a dynamite factory, implying that the police raid aspect represented police brutality or something. With that in mind, there's no way they'd re-release the 1998 World Football Cup set where we have Riot Police detaining a drunk football fan on the field. Like, they had riot shields, but no batons at least, but it just would not be PC for LEGO today. Every time I talk about inappropriate LEGO minifigures, somebody mentions Slave Leia. There's a whole sexism debate with this character. The last one we got was in the 2013 Jabba's Sail Barge set. I mean, this skimpy outfit has been a sex symbol for years, and I'm not sure we'll get a re-release of her ever again. Disney seems to have retired any merchandise featuring the outfit, unfortunately. Okay, with the entire controversy the character Apu from The Simpsons faced recently, with many calling the character a racist stereotype, I don't think we'll ever see another LEGO Apu. It would be deemed too offensive by LEGO standards. I mean, Hank Azaria, the original voice actor, stepped away from the role in 2020 as he deemed it offensive, and the character hasn't spoken in an episode for like two years. Now, the minifigure Apu did come in two sets back in 2014 and 2015 with the blind bags and the Quickie Mart, which is a shame. I love a new LEGO Quickie Mart. That's one of my favorite sets of all time. 
Did you know there was a 2001 LEGO Alpha Team set, which LEGO deemed contained something too close to the September 11th attacks that they ended up changing the comic included after 9-11? This is all info from Rock Raiders United. The pictures are from user Wurza. Yeah, this probably should have been on the censored sets list, but basically, the comic included in the set instructions showed Ogle planes, Ogle being the main villain of Alpha Team, dropping bombs on normal civilians, TFing them into brainless skeleton soldiers. Like shit, that's dark in general. They never show them being transformed back. After 9-11, the two panels following the plane taken off were changed, instead of having Agent Dash skirmish with Ogle at the sea, but this is still followed by the same shot of skeleton soldiers from the original comic. We touched on this in the last list, but there's a LEGO Indiana Jones set of a Nazi plane, 2009's fight on the Flying Wing. The thing is, the Flying Wing is not a real Nazi vehicle, it was just made for Raiders of the Lost Ark. Still, this clearly goes against the rule of no war vehicles in any modern setting, and I doubt they'll remake this set when we get more sets to release with the new film in 2023. Well, I'm hoping they'll give us some sets based off of older Indiana Jones movies like they did back in 2008, but we'll have to wait and see. And if we get another LEGO Indiana Jones set based around the actual Temple of Doom, I feel like LEGO will avoid remaking Mola Ram. I just don't think the religious cult leader aspect will pass with LEGO standards nowadays. I mentioned this in the last video, but it totally deserves a spot here. In the LEGO Seinfeld idea set instructions, there's references to the Ass Man license plate, a reference to self-servicing with the iconic Mastering Your Domain episode, and the I'm Not a Pimp line. I mean, LEGO has put out pimp minifigures before, with Brick Daddy from the awesome Space Police 3 Looter Limbo set, but that was a little bit more discreet. Funny how LEGO specifically says no first-person shooter games when we got a whole theme based on a first-person shooter game, LEGO Overwatch in 2019. The theme only lasted a year, but there are new rumors that we might be getting more LEGO Overwatch sets very soon. I mean, at the end of the day, Overwatch is rated T. If you really want to push it, LEGO did release a set on an M-rated game, with the remote control Batmobile basically being based on Arkham Knight. While it doesn't directly state Arkham Knight on the box, the outfit is from there, the Batmobile looks similar, and the logo on the box is unlike other LEGO Batman boxes, using a logo closer to Arkham Knight. I also mentioned this on the last list, but the Bro Thor set has a modern use of alcohol. A comment on that last video pointed out another instance, the VW Beetle set has a cooler filled with green cans and bottles, probably Heineken as it's a German beer and it's a German car. Large scale weapons aren't allowed on LEGO Ideas, though LEGO themselves has put out a bunch of large scale roleplay weapons. So many nerf-like blasters from Bionicle, Swords from Castle, Atlantis, Chima, Bionicle, Knight's Kingdom, Ninjago, Nexo, the list goes on. Hell, we're still getting some from Ninjago this year. There's the brick-built lightsaber handles they've put out too. Those don't include the blade, but they should. I think this rule should go away. Give us builds of weapon replicas, especially if you're putting out plastic roleplay toys of just that. No bullying? I mean, what? We've got evil emperors who are worse than freaking bullies, but we got a literal bully minifigure with Nelson Muntz in the Simpsons minifigure series 1 from 2014. Now, they could mean Seth specifically bullying a person and not a bully minifigure, but who knows. Did you know Advent calendars are a religious thing for Christianity? Per Wikipedia, Advent is a time of expectant waiting and preparation for both the celebration of the Nativity of Christ at Christmas and the return of Christ at the Second Coming. The more you know, we get so many Advent calendars, but those aren't deemed religious objects. Okay, you want a more direct Christian thing LEGO produced, a religious object they sold? What about the LEGO Indre Cross? LEGO sold these religious symbols from 1952 to 1958 to fundraise churches. It's the official LEGO Cross. For the final entry, I'll give you three figures, actually. There has been three official LEGO sex worker minifigures. In no way am I trying to shame prostitution or any sex work escorting as a job, I think they're legitimate jobs, but it's fair to say releasing LEGO prostitutes breaks the rule of no references to sex. The first was Red Harrington, who in the movie is a brothel owner. She comes in the LEGO Lone Ranger stagecoach set, which is actually one of my favorite sets of 2013, $30, and the Red Harrington minifigure is one of the best minifigures of that year. Anyways, the second is March Harriet from the LEGO Batman movie series 1 Blind Bags in 2017. 
She works as an escort in the world of DC, so not technically a prostitute. And then finally, Purish told me about this one. There's a 2017 LEGO Education Community minifigure set, which teaches kids about different jobs in a community. One of the jobs they have is just called a fancy woman, according to Bricklink, and the figure is a lady in a fancy outfit by a red light. Ah, I see what you did there, LEGO. Red light districts are areas where sex-oriented business is prominent. So this is a LEGO prostitute. And that is it for the list. I hope people don't misinterpret this list. Again, I'm applying LEGO's rules from ideas to these specific toys that they put out in the past. Now I do have my own thoughts on some of these, but I'm not saying all these are personally offensive to me. Anyways, thank you guys for the tremendous support we got on the last list, which made this possible to release a week after. Huge thanks to the channel members, which if you are a Just Too Gold and Up channel member, you get to see LEGO list early, including this one. I upload them the night before with their raw cuts. Subscribe for more LEGO lists. The next one might be the most wanted list of 2022. I feel like this week we'll get a whole bunch of set pictures. That's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.